Dear friends, we start a historical opening, a historical event, and behind these doors, the project of the Hermitage called Flora is under completion, where we can see alive paintings and artists walking out of of the paintings and it's a different historical project ethereal ether where everything is happening in totally different way and uh, in fact as far as i understand this is the first project of nft art exhibition and i'm quite sure it's the first one i know that few colleagues of mine uh, also participated in this event so it's a historical event from the point of view of digital development and it's linked to the history i would like to remind ethereal ether dates back to tuchiv poetry and it's about invisible things uh, hermitage which is a celestial museum having its avatar and it's flying in this space and it's landing we don't know where is it going to land to ensure the compensation of the carbon footprint a special part of the forest will be planted afterward the history of the hermitage is huge and amazing and the this exhibition is dedicated to blockchain as well. The exhibition of the artificial intelligence is going to be arranged, and NFT and crypto stock exchange, auction, public auction. We are going to get some profit. A unique reproduction is going to be presented here. A regional art are going to be presented by this amazing project, which is going to be described in details by the authors. I would like to welcome Mr. Azerkov and the member of the contemporary art, Olga Garnova and Garnova and curators of the exhibition we would like to welcome those partners who are not here today virtual gallery masters digital axona family foundation snark art and environmental partner green best green best uh, so Right now, you're going to see, to participate in the tour, and I would like to mention a few other important things. Whatever we do today is an important step towards creation of the celestial avatar of the Hermitage. So what makes it so important? The existence of this meta avatar of the internet. Many years ago, when the best website of the hermitage was created uh, we had uh, the electronic library and the electronic catalog now it is called the celestial avatar there can be different names given but as far as i understand it's the next step of the project big hermitage which, consi which consists of open storages and it's a global museum and due to today's development, we are observing the digital transformation. So I would like to thank the Department of the Contemporary Art, all the partners and sponsors and participants for opening this new stage of the development of Hermitage Museum today. And we would like to uh, highlight that yesterday we also announced the opening of School of Arts together with European University. And all this is united by a big open hermitage museum. Now I'm going to cut the rib.
it's a virtual, so I cannot see it if I have cut it or not. Thank you. The exhibition is opened. Please, you are welcome. Good evening. It's really an important historical event for us because the exhibition Ethereal Ethereal was prepared within six months and together with Anastasia, we've spent a lot of efforts and we've managed to involve wonderful partners in this project, different platforms and sites, media partners. And uh, briefly, I would like to describe what is this. This is the exhibition which does not exist in the reality until current time. All works in NFT were shown and transferred into physical reality on computer screen, on the mobile phone, something existing in the reality. And this exhibition is existing only in the virtual world. It does not exist at all. We do not display it in the analog world. To watch the exhibition, to participate, you need to get into the virtual world. You need to take the virtual helmet and get in this 3D virtual world. You can also enter from the computer uh, through the link uh, Celestial Hermitage, or you need to download the application on your smartphone, on your mobile. After that, you need a good internet connection to see all the effects. And after that, there is an unbelievable idea where to show this, in which space, because NFT is existing in the world linked to the cryptocurrencies, in the world linked to the stock quot quotas, and um, in the world of ownership. And Hermitage is linked tightly to the stock exchange building, which is located on the other side of Neva River. So, Anastasia came up with an idea that we should show this exhibition there. And now uh, we can observe this exhibition working already within few minutes. This is, and uh, it is located, uh, it is hosted by the building of Stock Exchange, um, which was erected as per the uh, design of Tamada Tamon. And the virtual copy of this building is the location where we show this virtual exhibition. In the real stock exchange building, there is nothing. There will be a QR code on it. Using this QR code, you can get into this cloud virtual world. You need to pass, uh, you need to go the link and uh, you will get into this uh, exhibition. Afterwards, uh, when you go this uh, when you choose this, click this link, you get into the virtual exhibition. There is a text that was written with the help of generative networks, uh, with the help of the artificial intelligence. And then we have selected the works with the help of our colleagues and different sites. And the works are assembled in the catalog. So you can enter the virtual gallery and you find yourself in the 3D space where you can start uh, any work or you can just observe the works. And the, uh, the idea is that these works exist in their natural space. We believe this modern digital art should remain in its native space. And the second thesis I would like to mention is that modern digital art is going to be um, uh, supervised. It's not going to be chaotic. We believe that we will be able to control this art. Curators will be able to control it and manage it. And the specialists of cryptocurrency will be able to manage these uh, works. This is not a chaotic exhibition. And this is the exhibition which was prepared by us, by the curators, uh, with the help of our partners, and it was assembled as a unified expression. There are a few holes in this exhibition, and you can travel around these holes. Later on, we will show how you should use it in these holes. 
uh, actually this is a unified whole of the stock exchange and it turns into the Martian hole or black hole or ash hole all the time this is the transformation of the same space but the main thing it's the uh, central place of St. Petersburg uh, few more words about the difference of uh, artificial intelligence and uh, conventional art. There is net art as well as we know. NFT allows to link token to smart contract. For example, we have masterpieces, the works of art in our exhibition. This is the work, one of the works I would like to describe. When a user is watching at it, it is ringing into the center of monitoring of climate in the world. If the climate in the world, uh, if the temperature goes up by two degrees, the, uh, the self-destruction of the work will happen. So the owner of this work of art should help, should prevent the global warming. And another example I would like to give, another work of art that we will show later on, when a human is reading a newspaper and this newspaper there is a news, new newspaper every day because the uh, there is a connection uh, to the newspaper and every time uh, there is a new morning newspaper presented in this work of art and the third example which is a very specific when the artist is making the project together with kids they are drawing something with gifted uh, uh, children. They draw the dinos and they transfer it into the 3D masterpieces. There is a contract, smart contract, and if the masterpiece is sold, uh, some certain amount of money is transferred into the center supporting children. So this is the important event this is the, a very complicated virtual history which is linked to the reality this is nft in fact we try to collect different works there are classical works presented classical representation of nft crypto punks uh, crypto it is McCoy, Abush, the most important works. There are generative works as well, created by the competitive networks and the works of important masters of the contemporary art. And when we talk about the real exhibition happening in the real museum, as a curators, we always face uh, the difficulties. You cannot overload the flooring, you cannot overload or damage the walls. So we always work with different uh, technical issues. We build false walls not to damage the space of the museum and virtual museum allows us to create unbelievable design and create different peculiar things this is in fact a fantastic design that can hardly be fitted in a normal space but in the virtual space it is possible we have a small video describing our way the way we came to this idea so we suggest to have a look at this video and afterwards we will show you a virtual tour around this exhibition we have been building the stock exchange with the meta architecture a totally new job on the basis of stock exchange building parameters of the building were created and you can see this is like a, like an octopus which is exceeding beyond the limits of the walls and you can have a look at the building the way it looks from outside but this is the way it looks inside changed uh, space different uh, arts art uh, pieces this is one of the holes rotunda the round the black hole with the katown work that will be described today later on, and the Ash Hole with Jan Huan work that was created specially for this exhibition, and the Red Hole with Krista Kim work, the house on Mars, with the Mars rovers, and there are just a simple digital, very simple digital stock exchange, and the entrance that we will come to later on, and we will walk around all the holes this is the portal that we get into when we enter the exhibition currently the exhibition is already open and uh, to get 
inside this exhibition you can uh, click the link you can use the mobile if you download the application spatial which is free and the best option is to have a virtual glasses augmented reality glasses uh, this is how you are going to get into the exhibition itself and then you'll be able to touch all the masterpieces pieces of art and walk around not to overload the server we have created the tour in the morning when there were no people i was wearing the glasses of augmented reality and i was gesturing and anastasia was using it her mobile that's why her, she's not moving a lot so this is a small video tour that was um, preliminary recorded and we will be commenting it we are entering the first hall this is my body in this space we can talk to each other we can communicate and other users can hear us so i invite you all for the tour we are wearing the t-shirts this is the uniform. We do not have legs because in this space, the legs were not drawn yet. So we are flying bodies and we are entering the hall. Here you can see the logo of Ethereal Ether, which is rotating on top. On the right, there is the entrance into the central hall. And on the left, you can see the work that we have mentioned before. Uh, this is the self-portrait of the artist and uh, his newspaper is going to change every time Moscow truth, Moscow news is shown today. In other days there will be different uh, newspapers downloaded from the database. Here Dmitry is moving through this piece of art and he shows that physically it is not possible but here it is possible. There, it's a big work but and you can physically uh, feel the um, greatness of this work. In this first hall, we would like to express the gratefulness to all the partners. There is a stand with the names of the exhibitions and we enumerate all the partners. We are going to approach this stand right now. Here it is behind my wall. We would like to show the logo rotating on top and behind our Behind us, you can see the information, the names of the partners. The project was prepared by a contemporary department of the Hermitage State Museum. This is the place where the idea was in, invented. And then we have found, we managed to find the key partners, strategic partner, Axiona Family Foundation. I'm pointing this stand right now and master digital virtual gallery partner software partners narc art environmental partner green vest we burn a lot of energy arranging this exhibition and after the completion of the exhibition we will calculate the carbon footprint and the particular number of the uh, uh, trees will be planted to compensate this art newspaper is another partner of our um, and uh, the platform the platforms with the help of which we've managed to contact the artists to get their works spatial in our head uh, these are our celestial bureau people sitting behind their computers right now and monitoring our space ensuring continuous smooth work of our exhibition in the first hall we are going to approach a flying crystal this is a generative work of michael jew and daniel krivaruchka which when the collector is buying it first depending upon the crypto wallet the crystal is growing individually this is one of the forms one of the shapes of the crystal and on the website you can watch the crystal growing uh, on top above me there is a stock exchange to the, built to the design of tamada tamon and the space with the amazing space special effects under the crystal there is a special uh, special space uh, on the walls you can see different works yeah. right now it shows all fisher work chaos is the name of this work this is the work of 
the artist. His work, A Big Play, is standing in Moscow now. It is very famous. He made it, uh, this art using a domestic uh, uh, items, the sponge with broccoli, and uh, these items are united. Creating the virtual uh, exhibition, you can increase the um, uh, exhibit size enormously. So I really like this effect. You can do whatever you want. But still, it was especially made in compliance with some rules, with the laser ruler. We used these tools. There will be a separate workshop describing the way it was all arranged and built. We have used a lot of innovations and know-how uh, building this exhibition. We will describe later on how to achieve this. Nastya, please move on. Now, we are going to approach next uh, work if, if Sassman, uh, one of the first works using the principle of collective ownership. One work is split on many tokens. Buying one of those, you are entering the community. And in fact, you are the owner of this. You can see uh, the entire picture or you can start the video and watch the pixels. Mina Velasquez is the foundation of this work, and each pixel is translated. There is the pixel number 89 translated now on the screen, and we can see the part of the video, digital video, which is shown on the screen. Afterwards, this movie, you can interact, you can start it, you can stop it, but you cannot move it. Yes, it's fixed. Next, we move on to the next work, uh, unbelievable work of art. Nasa, please describe it. This is the work of theatrical artist Robert Lewison, and we can see Lady Gaga on it. It's the copy of the image uh, of the painting, The Death of Marat. And if we will switch on the audio, the sound, you will hear uh, Lady Gaga is reading the text of the Marquis de Chade, and uh, it is one of the popular directions. One, when the media artist is transferring the uh, piece of art into the tokens and selling it later on at the auctions. Uh, there are different uh, works presented in this hall, and uh, we would like to see a few other works of this hall. These are all international artists. This is the work of Eric Aldron, who is the founder of the platform Art Blocks, a unique platform where a generative works are created, partially or fully created with the help of computer algorithms, and the artists are connecting to this platform. And when someone is buying NFT, he doesn't know what the entire dimensions of the work that he's going to get. This is one of the largest uh, projects of the founder. And uh, it is presenting the soul of this platform, and the logo of this platform is reminding these shapes. Next work we are going to approach is the work which is a talk, which is a dialogue, to famous Jeff Koons' uh, work, which is called Complete Balance. Uh, this work was created by Jeff Koons in his classical period. This work was represented as aquarium, and in the space there was a basketball wall hanging. And incomplete, it's not the complete balance, but the partial balance. This is the name of such work. This is a video where the aquarium is installed and the ball is hanging. Uh, but uh, all of a sudden, the octopus uh, is occurring, and uh, um, you can see the camera moving through the work and through us. This is fully digital world. Actually, you can do the same, and we are going to watch this work. This uh, octopus is eating up the ball, 
and then it starts again. Uh, you can start these videos yourself as well. This work is linked to the climate changing and NFT is going to burn itself in case the uh, in case of the global warming by two degrees. And there is a small video that you can watch on the website. Uh, it's a digital space, but still there are some limitations always. That's why there are different formats uh, combined presenting the work. This is the work of famous uh, Mr. Doodle, English artist. He has created a video, and this is the fragment, the part of this video. It will download too many videos in one hole. It will be too difficult to visit this space. The balls that you can see in the center of the hole, these are the entrances to other portals. You can go to uh, the previous hole, you can go back, or you can enter other holes and other portals. We are going to go to another hole. We uh, generally, totally, there are six holes. We are going to move to the next hole. Which one do we go? We are going to the black hole, which is representing a similar space, similar to stock exchange, but the colors are dark. So we have entered this black hole. We need to approach this ball and press the teleport now we are in the center of the hall jonathan monaghan work the celestial stock exchange which is a portal with the falling stock exchange quotes and uh, it's flying on the clouds the stock exchange is flying on the clouds it is very official made of black marble and this is the space of stock exchange created to the design of Tamada Tamon. Each work has its label with the name of the work and the name of the owner. This is the classical work, CryptoPunks, Larva Labs, the project that has developed the blockchain. And uh, due to it, NFT is created, and we are showing one of the examples, the girl from the collection Mischleben. Many works were presented by the collectors who are also interested to show their belongings, uh, their, their ownership. This is the series of digital avatars. And many collectors or just blockchain enthusiasts they uh, have these avatars looking like these um, images and uh, those who know they understand that this is the image that represents the status of the owner it's not the crypto market we are not selling something here we are not buying we are not indicating the price we do not always even indicate the source of this work this is just the attempt uh, to have a look what's happening in the digital world if the money are removed from this Ahatao work the uh, a great uh, head of the bear which is a digital image of leonardo and uh, different graphical images are presented here and it's it is of enormous size schrodinger um, Cat, Crypto Kitties, Blockchain Game. And this cat is a seldom cat which is highly appreciated uh, uh, by the collectors. And this is important topic for all of us. And this is the classical example Kevin McCoy, Quantum. And then our Celestial Bureau is transferring us into the red hole. Huge. Krista Kim work. This is the Mars hole. Uh, she is the artist who started be, um, creating the houses for Mars. For people, architectures are creating the design of Martian buildings. And Krista Kim is one of such artists. Uh, she's very popular. And we have received the video of her project. In fact, it's a digital building, digital house created for Mars. And there is a Martian lady, Robness work, 
This is his early generative portrait, and he is famous for being a punk and a hooligan in NFT world. And then we move on to Cybercar's work, Cybercrack. This is the idea of creation of digital vehicles, digi digital cars moving around the digital space. It's uh, uh, the are dedicated to Elon Musk uh, car, which was damaged during presentation. And then the unbelievable work, Neta uh, the artist from Young British Artists, a giant flower which is very bright and shining. We've managed to create a great projection, a huge screen was required and it was used. This is how we display it. And then unbelievable, unbelievable work linked to related to mining. We now move on quickly because we want to show, we want to make a brief tour around the exhibition. And this exhibition actually will be opened and available within 24 hours. And this is Hartung's work, Claudia Hart. This idea of Hermitage Hall represents paintings, uh, frames without paintings. And there is a next hole, almost without walls. There are two ash squares of Zhang Huan, Chinese artist. His exhibition was presented uh, in between two waves of pandemic, COVID pandemic. He has created two ash squares. It is a link to the it, it is a reference to Black Square of Malevich, and here it is the interpretation of contemporary artist of Black Square. And the uh, Black Square of Malevich is one of the masterpieces of the uh, Hermitage Museum. Uh, as for the Black Square, we wanted to continue this topic. It's a different story, it's a separate story. We have moved to another stock exchange, which is a bit smaller, but in fact, it's a digital copy of this space without parametric structures. And there are a few videos here, Romanian artist Mikhail Greco, and it shows the post-apocalypse from Neo Pinyan. And there is a work of, of, the, of Mr. Klein, Austrian composer, who is creating the colorful alphabet and he's linking the images and the sounds in separate compositions and there is a work always on sale. We also wanted to show it because it gives an interesting story of interaction between the artist and NFT and about the obstacles or bonuses that they face Claudia Hart's work where we can see video two hands trying to shake each other in the digital art in the dig digital space and they cannot do it and they separate separate on pieces and this work is existing in the augmented reality and two generative works a spina the basis of the matter uh, binary code paintings. This was uh, the source of the digital work. And Larva Labs work. First on-chain work to get the Ethereum. The image itself is stored in blockchain because quite frequently the image is stored beyond the blockchain because initially blockchain was not created to uh, keep these uh, images and this is another space we move on to another hole to the next hole the work always on sale rotunda some holes are showing us what's happening and there are some references to hermitage holes kevin abush classical art uh, the Cup of Petri, Shulia Ching is the artist. You can see the bacteria trying to leave the limits of the work. Everything is linked to nature and new forms of life. And we've been discussing recently that all this is 
tightly interconnected. Now we are flying to the next work. This is a complicated, complex project. Solomon Lopez is the artist who has linked the olive oil and cryptocurrencies in the unified body. And cryptocurrencies depend upon the olive oil and they, there is a mutual dependence. I've tried to touch and smell this work and there was a feeling of uh, presence of the oil in this space and there is another generative work from the art blocks platform small houses on the slopes of hills and uh, there is another project which is called in a similar way the code of the first maternal project gave an the impetus for another generative project which is placed on art blocks then we move on on this circle a giant uh, space rotunda and we approach dark zoom project the image was made together with kids and then it was transferred into 3d image and when it will be sold the smart contract as per the, as per the smart contract a certain amount will be transferred to children who participated in the creation a charity is an important part of this project always a some certain amount is transferred to the charity institutions eve is the name of the next work on uh, generative reality rotating mother of the humankind dna code evolution of the humankind is described here this is the work of tommy harton old testament he made a series of movies on the subject of old testament all these works require a long um long tour it's the uh that's the end of our video and we invite you to enter this virtual reality project and have a look around it's very interesting we've tried to make this exhibition uh, as something which is not linked to money not, not to social complex issues uh, or everything is open all participants are quite uh, open and you can read and to get all the information easily and different sites participating our partners are placing the information about our exhibition and the code to enter this exhibition will be located on the stock exchange maybe tomorrow this qr code will be placed on the stock exchange you can read this scan this qr code with the help of mobile or any other tool the idea is in these uh, tough times of qr codes uh, we wanted to give you a chance to get the tour through with the help of the virtual reality so see you in the meta version thank you very much come to our exhibition